High traders at the end of a very volatile week, the S&P 500, which started with the Brexit crash, finished up by 3.2%. Two reasons prevented the market from crashing. Both of them were discussed here last week. The first one is the high probability that the Brexit will delay the next rate hike, and that indeed is right now the estimation. And the window dressing period, we just finished the end of the quarter, the second quarter, and it is expected, like every end of quarter, that the institutional traders will buy in order to prevent the market from moving down in order to display high returns. So both of these reasons prevented the market from continuing the crash and we've seen in fact a very strong upside week. Now the level of uncertainty is very high, remains. Good news are expected to drive the market higher but very little. I don't expect the market to break out of the recent highs. However, if we're going to have some bad news, then I do expect some selling pressure and this may be much stronger than the buying pressure if we're going to get some good news. So what may move the market in the next week is June employment report which will be published on Friday and we are also getting close to the quarterly season reports and this may move the market but not in the next week probably a little bit later. Let's take a technical look at the market. Watching the S&P 500 daily we can see the Brexit breakdown however we can also see how the market returned. Now, as you can see, we are at a very, very strong resistance point, And I do not, as I mentioned earlier, expect the market to continue higher. However, bad news may drive the market lower. Let's take a look at last week's picks. We had two picks from two weeks ago. The first one was CCI, which finally reached my target, 7.8%. However, again, just a reminder, I sell three quarters of my quantity at 3% gain and then leave the last quarter at, with a stop at the entry price. So I'm just following with the last quarter right now and I will not let it move under my entry. The second one was AEP, which also move through the 3% target up by 4.6%. We also had two shorts last week. The first one was Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley gapped down. It did great, but I never chase stocks which are gapping down, not for a swing anyway. So Morgan Stanley did trigger, but there is no entry because it gapped down and the same happened to Goldman Sachs. So our both shorts gapped down. We didn't get any entry. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is SLCA long over 35.66, a very, very nice uptrend, a silica producer in the US. My second pick for the week is Yao, very nice consolidation here at the highs. It looks like Yao is uh, gaining some power in order to move over the recent highs. My long is expected to be over 38 and 19. I wish you a great trading week and see you in two weeks from now.